April Ryan's only crime today, if you will, was being a black woman at work. And Sean Spicer Please. cannot handle that. Please, stop. Give me a break. Yes, sir. You know what? That's not sanitation. Paris Crest, who's under attack. We are under attack by this administration. It's about discrediting uh, credible media. Uh, a lot of credibility issues when it comes to this administration comes in and we have to cover the issues and, and get all sides of the story. It's not just two sides, all sides of the story to find out what is is and what is real versus fake. Now when it comes to fake news, oh yeah, there are some fake news uh, uh, organizations out there reporting on them. Are they really journalists or are they spectators posing as journalists? I didn't hear a word she said. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the James Brown wig. Stupid Man, I'm not done. Of I'm just getting started. I'm Here's the issue. April Ryan is the same person who Donald Trump said to her, well, why don't you set up this, this meeting with the CDC? Those are your friends, right? They have an issue. Their agenda is with April Ryan, the fact that she is a yeah. credible, notable journalist in the black community. Her only angle is ensuring that this particular White House and this administration and the policies Done. that they push for are reported in a fair way to our community. A certain group of Americans celebrated when they saw Kaepernick fail. Those Americans didn't hate the 49ers. They hated Kaepernick. They hated what he stood for. And I'm still really confused by this whole situation. It makes no sense to me. There's a guy here who decided to take a knee and commence a silent, peaceful protest, and it was absolutely mind-numbingly enraging Republicans. Like, he did this to protest discrimination against people of color, and what he got in return was more discrimination and hatred. The NFL owners don't want to pick him up because they don't want to get a nasty tweet from Donald Trump. Do you believe that? Is Trump right about Kaepernick here? Of course not. Of course he's wrong. But making outrageous claims with zero evidence that's what this president's done. Why is he bragging about using his position to intimidate business into making decisions that show free speech? But luckily, the fact is that there's zero evidence that what he's saying is true. My response to that is I think you're being highly sensitive and unnecessarily so to what he's saying. I think when he makes a statement like, they don't want to be intimidated by me or whatever, that's a tongue-in-cheek comment. If it is, in fact, that you are reveling in the fact that you might be helping to contribute to some private citizen's unemployment, well, shame on you. And by the way, if he's not being serious, if he is tongue-in-cheek, as you said, Stephen A., well, the office is serious, and the pulpit is serious, and this is not a way to use it. I just saw that. And then he took most of his earnings and donated them to causes like Black Vets for Social Justice or the Center for Reproductive Rights in New York, Meals on Wheels, among many other social programs and community programs dedicated to helping those less fortunate among us. He even raised $2 million to bring aid to Somalia, and people still cheer because he can't find work. People, including our president. I just saw that. Do we believe what? That we have a president congratulating himself for keeping a black man out of a job? Yeah, unfortunately that's the reality. To create hostility toward your own country should be put in a basket of deplorables. I didn't hear a word she said. I was, I was looking at the James Brown wig. But I didn't say she wasn't attractive. I love James Brown. I just couldn't get by. So we're giving Maxine a break here. I love you, Maxine. I want to see you on the factor. And when hell freezes over, I'm sure that'll happen. Right. Well, so much for that. Because now Snoop Dogg has depicted himself assassinating President Trump in his latest music video. And in the video, Poop Dogg is rambling on about niggas this and niggas that and niggas should rise up and all that crap. And at the very end, it depicts him pulling this gun and shooting President Trump, who is depicted as a clown. Are you, buddy? He's proud about that. 